Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a Daring Dean YouTube channel. Whoever is watching this video, I hope you are all in good health, inshallah. May Allah keep you all healthy and safe. Um, I usually don't make these kinds of <coughs> videos and the reason I, I had to do this is because um, recently I've come across some videos um, made by a sheikh from UK and his name is uh, Hassan Ali, Sheikh Hassan Ali. He made some videos on about uh, Sheikh Imran Hussain's opinion on the Jali Ajuj Majuj and some other issues. Uh, let me play this video so it becomes more easy for the um, viewers. Allah is going to take them out according to Sahih Muslim after Isa a.s. comes to this world and after the Dajjal is finished. We haven't even got the Dajjal out yet. And, and Sheikh is claiming that Yajid Majur already out. Sheikh Hassan Ali is saying that Yajid Majur will not be released until the Dajjal has been killed by Prophet Isa a.s. So since the Jal, even the Jal has not come out yet, then how come Yajuj Majuj have been released? So basically what he is saying is that um, Sheikh Imran Hussain is wrong. Are you guys listening to him more than the Sahih Hadith? If so, you know what? You've got your own religion. You're brainwashed. You're completely brainwashed. You can't see where you're going. Sheikh Hassan Ali is questioning the students or the followers of Sheikh Imran Hussain that are they following or rather listening to Sheikh Imran more than the Sahih Hadith? If so, then they have their own made up religion. I mean, there's no evidence of, to suggest that any of Sheikh Imran Hussain's followers or students have ever said that they listen to Sheikh Imran Hussain more than what's in the Sahih Hadith. And this man. Who's like the pipe piper who came out? If he doesn't do Toba, because somebody emailed him today and asked him to, you know, what do you say about 4361? And he gave the exact same reply, which means that he's not backing up. Sheikh Hassan Ali is comparing Sheikh Imran Hussain to the Pied Piper. Everyone who, anyone who knows the story, Pied Piper of Hamelin is the guy who used to attract children um, with these false promises and took them took them to the cave and the children weren't seen again. So what he's saying is Sheikh Imran Hussain is brainwashing his followers and students. He's still out of the fall of Islam and any of you with him right now are going to be out of the fall of Islam if you believe like he believes about that piece of the, of, of the Quran. Sheikh Hassan Ali is now saying the, the, those followers or the students who believe in Sheikh Imran Hussain the way Sheikh Imran Hussain believes about this ayah of the Quran, this particular ayah of the Quran, then they have, they are out of the fold of Islam, meaning they have become kafir. That, that is incorrect. And all you stooges and others who are, honestly, you've got no knowledge whatsoever, you don't understand the sources. As you've heard, Sheikh Hassan Ali is now saying, the students, students or followers of Sheikh Imran Hussain are stooges and they have no idea about Islam. See, one of the biggest problems that's, that's happened is Sheikh Imran, he came out with, okay, the Jal is in this island, he's gone to that island. Yeah, Jesus Madrid came out like this, look, the Russian place, like this, okay, the, the, this, this part of the river got dry and, and he came. Not sure exactly what Sheikh Hassan Ali is trying to suggest here that. Sheikh Imran Hussain is some kind of a storyteller, a wacko guy who is making stories about Dajjal and Yajir Majir. I don't know. So he's, he's told me all of this now. You know what? You boys are sitting there, oh my God, and some of you girls as well have commented, you're sitting there, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the only Sheikh that tells us where these things are happening. So the mocking continues. He's mocking um, the students of Sheikh Imran Hussain. Um, boys and girls, and he's saying, they're saying, yeah, 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 this and that. I, I mean, I've never heard any of the female students of Sheikh Imran Hussain say, saying, yeah, 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 this and that. I mean, I don't know why Sheikh Hassan Ali is saying all these things. I mean, it sounds so ridiculous. Do you even realize that he's just giving you a load of conjecture? 
conjecture. I'm being nice to you. Load of conjecture. Load of, you know, made up stuff. Give it Sheikh Hassan Ali is asking the students of Sheikh Imran Hussain that do they even realize that Sheikh Imran Hussain is giving them a lot of, in a polite way, he's saying conjecture, which means incomplete information. But I mean, it's obvious what he really means. Again, Sheikh Hassan Ali is saying that Yajin Majud will not be released until the Jal has been killed by Prophet Sallallahu And he's taking that particular hadith in isolation because he's not mentioning the other hadith in Sahih Bukhari which says Abu Sayyid Khudri radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet Sallallahu said the Hajj and the Umrah pilgrimage will continue even after the emergence of Gog and Magog. Now you go and study, go and study, go and open your eyes, go and read, okay? And stop being brainwashed and I don't want to hear this nonsensical thing of you lot attacking scholars and saying, okay, you tell us then where are you, Jumadu? You tell us where the Jal is, we want to know. I'm not sure exactly what Sheikh Hassan Ali thinks of or has opinions about uh, Sheikh Imran Hussein's students. But the real, real students do study. If we hadn't studied, we wouldn't be able to find out about this particular hadith, which mentions that Gog and Mog, after Gog and Mogog have been released, people will be would be performing Umrah. What are you going to do when you know where, where Isa is, uh, where, where the Jali? What are you going to do? Right? Seriously, what are you going to do? Every man's going to run. Every man's going to run. Every woman's going to run. You're going to hide. Sheikh Hassan Ali is saying, what are we going to do when the Dajjal is released? There's nothing anyone can do. Everybody is going to be running scared, hiding places, this and that. The only person that can take the Dajjal on is Isa Ali Salam. So even if you know what the Dajjal is, what are you going to do? What are you going to do if you know what your Jumat is? What are you going to do? You're going to take them out? You're going to go and bomb them? You're going to go and get rid of them? You can't. Right? You can't. Again, Sheikh Hassan Ali is asking, what are you going to do when the Dajjal is released, are you going to bomb him or something? The only person who can take on the Jal is Isa alayhi salam. So there's nothing anyone can do to Yajaj Majjah. Again, I don't think anyone in their right mind is thinking that they're going to take on the Jal or Yajaj Majjah. Well, I mean, honestly, these people, they, they really, they really, um, you can't even read Jam- you can't even read Fajr on time. So the mocking continues. Now he's saying that the students of Sheikh Imran Hussein can't even do the Fajr Salat on time. Right? And you, you, you're there sitting as keyboard warriors supporting a, 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 a Sheikh that brainwashed you. Again, the mocking and grilling continues. He's calling Sheikh Imran Hussein students as keyboard warriors, meaning they're not very knowledgeable. And they use their keyboard as weapons, probably, um, with the keyboard writing and everything. Isn't Sheikh Hassan Ali the one who uses social media a lot? I mean, what if people start calling him keyboard warrior? How would he feel? I think what this Sheikh fails to realize is that none of Sheikh Imran Hussein's true students are going against Sahaba's recitation. Not quite sure why he keeps mentioning that the students of Sheikh Imran Hussain can't do Fajr Salat on time. I mean, what is the meaning of saying all these things? I mean, I mean, does he have a CCTV TV camera fitted for us, and does he 
um, check on us? I mean, how does he know that we don't do Fajr Salat on time? I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. You know, your biggest concern should be that it, when Imam Mahdi comes, which, which third are you going to be from? Are you going to be the third that gets shaheed? Are you going to be the third that be victorious with him or the third that runs away? Now he's jumped to um, the hadith about Imam Al Mahdi and asking Sheikh Imran Hussein's students, which third are we going to be uh, the ones that, that are shaheed or the ones that runs away or the ones that are victorious? What kind of actual bravery, blood do you have inside you? Seriously, that should be your concern. When the child comes out, where am I going to be? Where am I going to hide? That's, that's, that, that should be your question. Because I'm going to hide. Seriously. Read Surah Kaab, I'm going to hide. If he comes out. Then he goes on to say, what kind of bravery do we have inside us? And then he says, he's going to hide from the Dajjal. I mean, first he talks about bravery, then he talks about hiding from the Dajjal. Ridiculous. I'm not going to go and challenge him. I'm not going to ask where he is. I don't want to know where he is. I want, I want him to be on the other side of the world. I mean, whoever mentioned about challenging the Dajjal, I mean, none of Sheikh Imran Hussain students ever said that they're going to challenge that jail. I mean, or even Sheikh Imran Hussain. I don't know where he gets it from. I really don't understand. Same as Yajjim Majjul, when they come out, the Hadith said no one can take him on. Isa Hassan takes the whole of the beliefs on Mount Tura, and then Allah destroys Yajjim Majjul. Anyway, enough with this. I hope you guys do Tawbah, and you get your Sheikh to do Tawbah as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah. Well, after calling Sheikh Imran Hussain and his students indirectly kafir. I mean, he did say that they're out of the fold of Islam. And after calling Sheikh Imran Hussain's students keyboard warriors and accusing them of not doing Fajr on time, all these accusations, and he's asking Sheikh Imran Hussain's students to make Toba and to tell the teacher, Sheikh Imran Hussain, to make Toba as well. Sheikh Hassan Ali has made, I think, about three or four videos um, on Sheikh Imran Hussain and his opinions. Um, this particular uh, video clip was taken from one of those videos, and I think this was the worst one, to be honest. Because in this video, he said <laughs> Sheikh Imran Hussain was the Pied Piper. He said his followers who believe in his opinions uh, have their own religion and they are out of the fold of Islam. He said Sheikh Imran Hussain and his followers must make Tawbah. He said uh, Sheikh Imran Hussain's um, followers are keyboard warriors. He also said that uh, they don't pray Fajr on time, they don't pray Salat on time. I mean, absolutely shocking. How can a Islamic scholar say such things about his fellow Muslims? I want to address uh, Sheikh Hassan Ali. Um, Assalamu alaikum. I don't know you personally and I'm sure you're a nice guy, you're a nice person, a pious person, a scholar of Islam and for that I respect you. Even I, I haven't watched your videos, I'm sure you are a good Muslim. But I am really shocked at how you addressed this situation, especially what you said about Sheikh Imran Hussain and his followers, his students. You have actually questioned the Iman of millions of students and thousands of thousands of students who are Imams, Maulanas. <coughs> you said they don't pray for Fajr on time, they don't pray Salat on time. Have you actually knocked on the door, each and every one of the houses and checked that they, are, they don't pray Salat on time? How could you say all those things? And how could you say, I mean, 
You said they are keyboard warriors. I mean, what, what does that even mean? Keyboard warriors. You are, you are just belittling them. You are mocking them. I mean, what does keyboard warrior mean? I mean, I mean aren't you on um, Instagram and uh, what's the other one? Facebook. I'm, don't you um, type anything? Um, you, 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 uh, I mean, you're a regular on social media, aren't you? So what if someone says you're a keyboard warrior as well? How would you feel? Why would you mock people like this? What, I mean, I don't understand. I know, how could you say that uh, his followers don't pray Salat on time, Fajr on time? And what is this, I mean, problem you have with um, Sheikh Imran Hussain's opinion? If you don't believe them, just leave it. You don't have to, um, I mean, no one has to go crazy on, on it. I mean, if someone believes that the Jal is out, Yajin Majus is out, is that a sin? I mean, based on what? Based on what exactly? I mean, you you were showing this hadith about uh, when the Dajjal is killed by Isa alayhi salam and Allah orders him to take his followers up uh, Mount Tur. And that's when Allah sends Yajuj Majuj. And this is the hadith you're basing that uh, yeah, uh, Gog and Magog aren't out. Okay, that's fine. That's your opinion. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Nobody's going to argue if you believe something. Nobody is pushing you towards believing, um, taking someone else's opinion. Okay. I have every answer to you, all of the questions that you laid. But you, you, brother. You only talked about one particular hadith. What about the these other hadiths on Yajuj Majuj? Did you care to um, talk about them on on any of those videos about Sheikh Imran Hussain? Did you even mention them? What about the hadith of Antahib Bari when it says that uh, when Yajuj Majuj is released, people will be performing Umrah or Tawaf? And um, Kiyama, Kiyama won't come until the Hajj is abandoned. This is this is the Hadith on Sahih Bukhari. So how come there's this this huge war is going on? The Hadith you just mentioned. The, this is a huge war that's going on. Isa alayhi salam kills um, Dajjal. And there's there's basically this destruction everywhere, and Isa alayhi salam is ordered to um, by Allah to take his uh, people up in Mantur. So basically, it's not safe, and because Yajj Majuz is coming, okay. In according to you, this hadith says this is the only hadith that probably uh, is says that uh, Yajj Majuz is going to be released at that time after uh, Dajjal is killed by Isa alayhi salam. But how come this other hadith in Sahih Bukhari says that Yajun Majuj will be, when the Yajun Majuj are released, people will be performing Umrah? How is that possible? How is that possible? Also, you forgot to mention the this, this hadith, which is mentioned several times on Sahih Bukhari, and also one time, uh, I think one time on um, Sahih Muslim, narrated by four great Sahabas, including the wife of uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Zainab, radhiyallahu anhu, and uh, you, everybody knows you know this hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu had a dream. He woke up in Zainab Zan Allah's house. He woke up. He, his face was red, and he he said, "While you Arab min sharil karik taraba," and he showed his um, index finger and thumb, and he made it like a circle, and he said that, um, "O oh Arabs, a great evil is upon you." Today, he said, "Today." Gog and Magog has made a hole in the wall. He said today, he did not did not say thousand years from now, he did not say two thousand years from now, he said today, today means today. That is what exactly Rasulullah said. He said today, Yajuj Majuj has made a hole on the wall. 
that was in the lifetime of Rasulullah So are you, are you denying these hadith? And you're, you, just because it suits your, I mean, I'm not personally attacking you Just because you are comfortable with the other hadith That Dajjal kills, uh, sorry, uh, Isa Alayhi kills Dajjal Yajuj Majuj then get released So basically we don't have to worry about Yajuj Majuj and Dajjal and all that I mean, it's basically thousands of years away probably Or at least hundreds of years away So we don't, I mean how can you, I mean, disregard these other hadiths? You accused Sheikh Imran Hussain and his followers of Kufr and you said they are all out of the fold of Islam and you said they should make Tawbah. I mean, how could you say someone is out of the fold of Islam? Who gave you that authority? Based on what? A comment he made on dark critical marks. Let's hear this video. The Quran does not have any mistake. All of these critics will come shouting from the mouth. Look at Imran Hussein. You see, the Quran has mistakes in it. Tell these gold school boys go and get, get some. As you've just heard, Sheikh Imran Hussein never said that, that there's mistake in the Quran. Now to be He never said that. I'm not saying there's a mistake in the Quran. So don't be, don't be. Uh, tell lies against me. Unfortunately, they have been telling lies against Sheikh Imran Hussain. He never ever said that there's a mistake in the Quran, never. I'm saying that human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. Maybe it was done deliberately, maybe it was done accidentally. Again, as you've just said, Sheikh Imran Hussain never said though. There was a mistake in the Quran, nor did he ever say anything against our beloved Prophet nor did he accuse the Sahabas of making any mistakes. And the verse says, And he is the sign of the hour, and not that he is the knowledge of the hour. As you can see, Sheikh Imran Hussain never said anything against the Quran. He never said that there were mistakes in the Quran. He, he would never ever say anything against Quran and Sunnah. So, brother Sheikh Hassan Ali, are you still going to accuse Sheikh Imran Hussein and his followers of Kufur and ask them to, to make Tawbah based on what exactly? The diacritical marks, which came way after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi way after the Sahaba's time. I think it was about two, three hundred years after the time. What if? You've made the mistake and this statement of yours is held against you in the day of judgment. What would you do then? I think you should you should rethink about what you've said and make Toba. And also what you said about Dajjal, you're gonna uh, people are gonna run and you're going to hide when Dajjal come, come, comes out and basically you were mocking Sheikh Imran Hussain's followers and asking them what they're going to do. It's not about what they're going to do, it's about them warning their children. That's the main thing. The fitna of Dajjal is dangerous. People should be warned about the fitna, what's going on around the world. Don't you think we should warn our children and warn others? And I invite you to read um, some of Sheikh Imran Hussain's books. I mean, this is, uh, sorry, this is a uh, Bangla version. Sorry, uh, the English version is called Jerusalem in, the Quran, Jerusalem in the Quran. You should read this. And also this book, Surah al in the and the Modern Age. You'll get some idea about the timeline on, of Dajjal. And then you make your opinion. Because you're just watching these videos, probably 30 minutes long, I don't know how long, and you're making these comments and you basically don't understand what, what he's trying to say. And then you accuse him of kufr. Please, brother, do not say things that you may regret later. I mean, not in this, I mean, this may look very small in this world, but what about Akhirah? And regarding Tawbah, we should all make Tawbah because we're all sinners. Before I end this video, I would like to suggest um, all brothers and sisters who watch 
YouTube videos on who are in social media like Facebook, Instagram, and who watch these short videos or video clips of Sheikh Imran Hussein or any Islamic scholar. If someone is grilling this Islamic scholar, please listen to exactly what the Sheikh is saying. Listen to the, the entire lecture because what people do is they keep editing videos into shorts or just edit them and present them in a way that suits them so they can get a lot of likes or followers or subscribers and this is really very sinful and this is Giba. In this particular case, um, people have been lying about Sheikh Imran Hussein and accusing him and this rumour has spread all over the UK and some masjids have closed their door on him. I mean, who's going to take this sin? I mean, lying about Sheikh Imran Hussein or any school or any person. I mean, you will take this sin and if that person does not forgive you, then you'll take it to the grave and on the, on the day of judgment you will have to take the punishment for this. These are dangerous times we're living in. The age of fitna, the age of Dajjal. All Muslim scholars should unite for the sake of the Ummah. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.